and then assumed the position of Emperor. She has deemed the Church of Seros to be an evil of this world, and is calling upon the people of Fodlin to help her tear it down. I must discuss our response to this declaration with the Archbishop, after the Knights return from their investigation. Until then, watch over the students. See that they remain calm. Professor, the Empire has declared war on the Church of Seros. We know her later. What's going to happen? We can't afford to be optimistic. It's entirely possible the kingdom will be invaded. Settle yourself, Ingrid. We need to carefully consider our options. We can't just act rashly. That will only make things worse. Once we've ascertained the situation, we must return to Ferdiad. Your Highness. Then we know. Perhaps she is planning to make herself a false deity by demonizing the Church of Seros. Adrestia received its very name through a divine oracle. To injure the goddess is a sin most foul that shall not be forgiven, nor forgotten. We must stop the Empire. And quickly. I have returned, Rhea. Welcome back, Shamir. Were you able to discern the Empire's movements? Their main troops. We must order the residents of Garrig Mach to flee for their lives. It will be done. Professor. Listen closely. If our enemy invades the monastery, I will have no choice but to stand upon the battlefield. If something happens to me, I am entrusting my sacred duties to you. You must have guessed it by now. The truth of who you are carries the power of the progenitor god within. In time, the vessel will become one with the power contained within, and the progenitor god shall return to this world. I see. I trust that you are aware of the questionable nature of this experiment. But I suppose there is no turning back. I ask that you help our friend. And in doing so, help her. I am waiting and hoping for the moment when our creator rules. Regardless, I am glad to hear it. You owe your life to the Professor, after all. And in the end, they may prove to be our brethren. You have my gratitude, Sedith. And you as well, Flane. As followers of the Progenitor God, it is up to us to see our mission through. Many thanks. Come back soon. I'll never give up. No matter how outnumbered we are, I'll fight to the very end! Hmm. I should have made a move on the Imperial Princess before things got this far. It could have changed everything. We have the Goddess's divine protection on our side. All that's left is to try our best. All we can do is fight as best we can. Though, if I'm being honest, I'm really scared right now. We can't just hand over the kingdom and the monastery. Please has arrived at long last. <laughs> of course, of course. But don't mistake my intentions. Edelgard will die by my hand and mine alone. Let's move, Professor. Even if it costs me my life, I won't rest until I've crushed her skull in my bare hands.
I have a report. The enemy is within the walls. They're about to break the defensive line. The Archbishop and the defensive line both require our assistance. We must protect them until reinforcements get here. Stay focused. Why am I even here? That's my cue. Ready. To work. What should I do? Luck wasn't with you. So obvious. Just give up. Is that? Next time, bring your friend. I need that. Now's my chance. Do this. Report. The enemy has taken the entrances where the reinforcements were heading. We must retake the strongholds to the east and west, so are we. You are not. Such power dwells within?
What's next? I have held back? I guess I feel a little stronger. Too easy. Too easy. to serve his highness to work I'm on it here we go yeah. You. you should be honored the noble standard Stay focused. I have no choice but to distinguish myself in this fight. I'm finished. I'm loath to say it, but I must retreat.
I'll go. Another win. Stronger. I can feel it. Separate that sick head from your neck, shall we? <laughs> you never were one for patience. I wish you were someone whose heart could be swayed by my words and deeds. If it were so, I would have done anything to make you my ally. You fought well, but now... Your fight is over. Send in our reserve troops, and give my uncle the signal. What is this? Everybody here, young and old, is in your hands. I will not allow another Red Canyon tragedy to happen here. What is going on?
What now? In Imperial Year 1181, the new Adrestian Emperor, Edelgard von Hesfeld, led a strategic assault against the monastery at Garrig Mach. Though her own losses were great, her foes had no choice but to surrender, and her whereabouts remain unknown. With this single attack, the Adrestian Empire officially launched its offensive against the Holy Kingdom of Fargus and the Leicester Alliance. The unification of Fogland has begun.